created a video on Gyanganj earlier and I hope you have watched it. If you haven't, I provided a link in the description for your reference. In his book, Gyanganj, Gopinath Kaviraj describes an intriguing incident involving Henry Steele Olcott, the co-founder and first president of the Theosophical Society. This incident took place in Bombay and has also been documented by Olcott himself in his book, Old Diary Leaves. One day, Colonel Olcott went for a ride in a Phaeton carriage with Madame Blavatsky, the founder of the Theosophist Society. During their ride, Madame Blavatsky suddenly ordered the carriage to stop and told Olcott to wait in the car while she went to the nearby monastery. From the carriage, Olcott observed a large monastery situated at a distance. Madame Blavatsky entered through the monastery gates and after some time, emerged carrying garlands. She handed a garland to Olcott and they continued their journey. The following day, Olcott decided to take a walk alone. As he walked, he noticed the Phaeton's coachman from the previous day approaching. Curiously, Olcott asked the coachman if he could take them to the same place they had visited the day before. Agreeing to Olcott's request, the coachman drove them to the location. However, to Olcott's surprise, there was no monastery in sight. Instead, there was a garden with two gardeners tending to the grass. Approaching them, Olcott asked a question, but the gardeners didn't understand English and didn't respond. Perplexed, he returned to the carriage and inquired of the coachman about the disappearance of the monastery. The coachman replied, stating that there had never been a monastery at that location. He mentioned that he frequently drove his carriage in the area and that there was only a garden present. The coachman suggested that Olcott might be confusing the place with another location. This incident left Olcott puzzled, as the monastery he had seen the day before had seemingly vanished. The mystery of the disappearing monastery remained unresolved. 